and shifting focus to the United States of America, where U.S. President Joe Biden and Donald Trump, his likely Republican opponent in the November polls, they made separate visits to the U.S.-Mexico border, where immigration has become a key issue for the voters there. Now, of course, both leaders, they traded blame on each other for the crisis. They arrived in Texas within half hour of one another. Each chose an optimal location, got a briefing on operations and issues, walked along the scrub bush by the Rio Grande and spoke directly to the public. Well, Biden spoke on the necessity of a bipartisan border security bill that was tanked by Republicans on Trump's order. Well, he even asked the Republican frontrunner to join him in supporting a congressional push for more funding and tighter restrictions. Take a listen. I understand my predecessor's legal past today. So here's what I would say to Mr. Trump. Instead of playing politics with this issue, instead of telling members of Congress to block this legislation, Join me, or I'll join you in telling the Congress to pass this bipartisan border security bill. We can do it together. You know and I know it's the toughest, most efficient, most effective border security bill this country has ever seen. Trump, on the other hand, declared that the illegal crossings were a Joe Biden invasion. Trump, as president from 2017 to early 2021, considered a tough border stance to be a signature issue for him. Now the United States is being overrun by the Biden migrant crime. It's a new form of uh, vicious violation to our country. It's migrant crime. We call it Biden migrant crime, but that's a little bit long. So we'll just leave it. But every time you hear the term migrant crime, you know where that comes from. Earlier, Trump called on Biden to take a cognitive test. This after, Biden's doctors determined that he did not need one and that he remains fit for duty. Biden, who is 81, underwent an annual physical test at Walter Reed Medical Center on Wednesday. Their visits come ahead of the biggest day of this year's primary campaign, which is going to be held next week. 16 states will vote in contests known as Super Tuesday, as the day with the most delegates up for stake. Strong performances by Biden and Trump would move them much closer to becoming their party's nominee. And for more on this, our correspondent Susan Terani explains this shift in the democratic strategy on immigration and perhaps its impact on potential voters. Take a listen. After three years of trying to defend President Biden's handling of the border from GOP attacks, Democrats now see an opening to shift the blame on Republicans for not passing that immigration Senate deal. But the recent murder of Lakin Riley, a Georgia nursing student, has further stoked anger about President Biden's border policies. The suspect in Riley's killing, an illegal migrant, was arrested back in 2022 by U.S. Customs and Border Protection after unlawfully entering the country, but he was then released. Four years ago, President Biden ran against President Trump's hardline immigration policies and put forth one of the most liberal immigration proposals by any mainstream Democrat candidate in history. Biden, who ran on restoring the asylum system, is now advocating for more limits. Susan further explains the potential implications of border security for the upcoming polls. Listen. In a Gallup poll conducted between February 1st and February 20th, respondents named immigration as the most important issue facing the country. The numbers were significantly higher than the same poll, which asked the same question about a month ago. The issue is a major political vulnerability for President Biden. An ABC News survey found that he had a low 18 percent approval rating on handling immigration at the U.S. southern border, which recorded a record number of migrants entering illegally in December alone. While the president and his campaign are bashing Republicans for turning down that proposal on immigration in the Senate, it's hard to imagine Americans outside of Washington have an appetite for any kind of a political wrangling when it comes to the issue of the migrant crisis and immigration. What they want to see is solutions, and they want to see those solutions fast, because at this point, the Republicans say most states across the country, like Texas, are border states.